Today I'm making crispy Korean fried chicken. I'm also going to be making the sweet and spicy sauce to go along with it. But just by itself, it's going to be good. Here I have one teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon garlic powder, and one teaspoon salt. I also will be using a half teaspoon of ground ginger powder and a half teaspoon of Korean red pepper powder. I'm going to combine these and give it a mix. Today I'm working with two pounds of chicken legs. Now what I'm going to do is add buttermilk. You could use around a cup to a cup and a half. I just want to make sure that it's coated in the buttermilk. And now I'm going to sprinkle in my seasoning mix. And I'm going to use a glove today and I'm just going to mix this and then cover with a lid and just put it in the refrigerator for about two hours overnight for best results. Now I'm going to work on my sweet and spicy sauce and I actually don't make mine too spicy but here I'm preheating over a low heat. I'm adding just a little bit of cooking oil. Now I'm going to add one minced clove of garlic and a half teaspoon of crushed ginger paste. I'm going to give that a mix and a saute. Now I'm going to add a half cup of ketchup, one to two tablespoons of gochujang. It just depends how spicy you want it. I'm going to give it a mix. Now I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of cooking wine. I'm actually using Shaoxing cooking wine. You could also use Marin. I'm going to give that a mix and now I'm going to sprinkle in one and a half teaspoons of sugar. You could also substitute that with some honey. Here I have three tablespoons of water. I'm going to give it a mix and before I forget I am going to add one teaspoon of sesame oil. Continue mixing and I'm going to bring this up to a simmer. Once it starts to simmer and bubble that's when I'm going to shut off the heat and I like to let this cool before I add it to my fried chicken. Now I'm going to work on my batter. Here I have one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. To that I'm going to add one teaspoon of ground ginger powder, one and a half teaspoons garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons onion powder, one and a half teaspoons chicken bouillon powder, half teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of Korean red pepper powder. One teaspoon of sugar. I'm going to give it a mix and this is going to be the dry ingredients. Now I'm going to add, I'm going to start with three quarters of a cup of mineral water and then add until the mixture is pancake batter consistency, just like this. Now that my chicken has marinated, I'm going to remove it from the marinade and add the chicken right into the wet batter. Now some of you might think maybe coat it in maybe dry flour first. You could definitely do that, but this is why I find this easy. It's just from one bowl to the next. Now that it's coated in the batter, I'm going to place it in preheated oil. I've preheated it to around 365 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm going to cook the larger pieces for a little bit longer, but the cook time does vary. So I'm going to double fry this. So for the first fry, I'm going to let it cook for around 10 to 12 minutes. I'm going to remove it and repeat the process for the rest of the chicken. Now for the double fry, I'm going to put the chicken back into the fry oil once it's heated again and let that continue cooking for another five minutes or until the chicken is a deep golden brown color and cooked through. Once the chicken is cooked and fried, 
Now it's time to toss into that sweet, sticky, spicy sauce, and your chicken is ready. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.